Lesson 2. Assemblies. Build your first assembly based on the part you created in Lesson 1. In this lesson, we'll assemble two parts. We'll also show moving and rotating components in an assembly, and we'll create display states. We already have one of our parts ready to assemble, but we still need to create the base part. To do this, click on New, Part, and click OK. Select Extruded Boss Base, and select the front plane. Sketch a corner rectangle, beginning at the origin, and then add a couple of dimensions, 120 by 120. Select Exit Sketch, and set the extrude depth to 90, click OK. Next, add a fillet to these four edges, set the radius to 10, and click OK. Select Shell, select the front face, and key in 4 for the thickness, and click OK. Next, save this part as Tutor 2. Next, we'll add a lip. Click on Zoom to Area, and zoom in on this region. Click Zoom to Area again to turn off the tool. Then select the front face of the thin wall. Select Extruded Cut, and then select Convert Entities. If you are using 2017 or above, turn off Shaded Sketch Contours, and select the face a second time. Click on Offset Entities, Key in a distance of 2, turn on Reverse, and click OK. Click on Exit Sketch, key in 20 for the depth, and click OK. Select Zoom to Fit, and next we'll change the color of the part. Right click on the Tutor 2 name, select Appearances, and select Tutor 2. Then select the desired color and click OK. Then save the part. Now we'll open Tutor 1. You may need to find where you saved this file from the last tutorial, or browse to this location to find it. Select Tutor 1 and click Open. Now we'll create a new assembly and click OK. In the Begin Assembly Property Manager, Select Tutor 1 and click OK. This places the origin of Tutor 1 at the origin of the assembly. Select Insert Components, select Tutor 2, and click in space. Select Zoom to Fit, and save this assembly as Tutor. Next, we'll add mates to attach these two parts to one another. Select Mate. Select this edge and this edge. Coincident is selected as the mate type. Click OK. Try dragging the base part to see the remaining degrees of freedom. Select this face and this face. Then click OK. Finally, select this face and this face and click OK. Click OK a second time and save the assembly. Next, we'll add a display state. Expand the display pane, then right click anywhere in the display pane. Select Add Display State. Name your display state Base HLV for hidden lines visible. Click in an open area. Click on the display mode for Tutor 2 and select Hidden Lines Visible. Now hide the display pane and toggle back to the original display state by right-clicking on the display pane arrow and select default display state. And that completes this tutorial. Thank you.